All right, hello and welcome to the Masana YouTube channel where we discuss all things hydronics. In today's video, I wanna show off our M Sense Room Comfort Sensor, and that's actually what you see behind me. This is the history of our sensor, and we are currently on this guy right here. Um, but this is really the key to radiant cooling. So here at Masana, we pioneered radiant cooling, and radiant cooling has always been a battle between the radiant surface temperature and the dew point temperature. And so you wanna try and produce cooling while avoiding the dew point. So if that radiant surface were to fall below the dew point temperature, we'd produce condensation. The dew point is just when condensation would form, and we can't do that. And so we have to use intelligent sensors, which monitor that dew point, and then controls which adjust to supply water temperature to the radiant surface to make sure it never falls below the dew point. Now, our M sensor room comfort sensor monitors a few things. First, we got operative temperature, which is similar to air temperature, but it takes into account the radiant temperature. So it gives us a better idea as to what our skin receptors would actually feel. And then also monitors relative humidity. And so with operative temperature and relative humidity, we can calculate the dew point temperature. So that's how we know what's going on in every zone of a home. And then the last thing that the M sense room comfort sensors monitor is VOCs, volatile organic compounds. And that reflects the indoor air quality of your space. And so we can use that data to activate forms of mechanical ventilation to make sure that you're breathing in the best air possible. And so all of these sensors will be connected hardwired to our controllers. You can daisy chain them together or create separate branches, but they will all be connected to our controllers. They'll be mounted at about five to seven feet, so head height. Um, and we also wanna make sure that they're mounted out of direct sunlight, cause that could throw off the temperature reading and away from anything that might throw off the air quality reading. People also ask if you can paint them and you can paint them. You can paint them with a matte water-based paint. You'll just have to take it apart and protect the part that is monitoring the temperature. And so when you have a Masana system, Ideally, this is all you have on your wall. We do have some thermostats that you can install if you want to be able to make adjustments to your system on the wall or wherever you'd like. Um, but for the most part, we'd rather you just have this discrete sensor in every zone and you make adjustments to your system from your phone or from your computer uh, via the Masana app. And then on top of that, we'd actually much rather you just set your system up and then ideally you can forget it. Ideally, it manages itself. You can run it on a schedule. You could set it in auto mode, but ideally it's keeping you comfortable without you having to worry about it because who wants to have to always go constantly adjust your thermostat we'd much rather you just stay comfortable we keep you comfortable and you really don't have to worry about it thank you for watching today's video i hope you learned something about our sensor maybe in the next video i'll jump more into controls if you have any questions definitely let me know take care